Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I am going to describe about non-monotonic logic. So, what is the meaning of non-monotonic logic? Actually, here we are going to see. See this. Whenever we are having any proposition, whenever we are representing any proposition, so whenever we add any kind of the statement or any kind of the new proposition or any kind of the new thing to that set of the statements are added and the logic of that particular proposition will be changed so that particular statement will get affected the truth validity of that particular statement will get affected the truth validity of that particular logic is will get affected okay so this is called as the non monotonic logic okay so it na monotonic means i told in the previous classes that is uh, mono means only one so the logical validity can hold only one particular value that is either true or false whenever it becomes non monotonic so set of the statements will become uh, uncertain so whenever there is a arises the uncertainty then that particular logic will becomes non monotonic logic so so it is one the which language of first order logic is augmented with the model operator m which can be read as inconsistent this is also called as the uncertainty in my past video i told regarding the uncertainty what is the meaning of uncertainty what are the properties of the uncertainty so incomplete inconsistent these two are also properties of the uncertainty so obviously your non monotonic logic also comes under this uncertainty so whenever that logic is uncertain that is called as non monotonic logic we cannot directly tell the truth validity of that particular statement as either true or false this feature is called as the non monotonic reasoning okay so sorry are non monotonic logic whatever it is so what are the various examples what are the various types of this non monotonic logic now we are going to see okay there is a small example that is given that for all x comma y related x comma y and m get along x comma y that will definitely go to will defend x comma y okay another example that we can see is can bird tweety fly yes by default tweety can fly okay so the conclusion is withdrawn if it is added suppose we have added another statement look at see tweety is a penguin can a penguin can fly no so how can we uh, represent this particular statement see here in this particular uh, statement if whatever i am showing here is a bird of x and dash dash to fly of x normally every bird can fly and bird of x and abnormal of x can fly but penguin is negation of abnormal of x can fly but penguin is abnormal it's not abnormal it is directly the abnormal so penguin can fly no it cannot fly so by using this we, what we can conclude we can conclude that that penguin cannot fly a penguin is a bird which cannot fly okay so can a bird tweety fly yes it can fly but whenever bird of x and abnormal negation abnormal of x will it fly no it cannot fly okay so negation of abnormal of x only it can fly okay so um, abnormal bird of x and abnormal of x cannot fly so the conclusion is withdrawn that a penguin cannot fly okay so by using this particular information or this particular statement we can draw the conclusion as the penguin cannot fly right another example that we can see here in this c a b c okay so this we can show in the form of the logic let us see in this example bird has wings flies but penguin is a bird but not flies it cannot flies okay so you can show your non monotonic logic example here like this okay so what is the another example let us see here this is the another example usually quackers will see these particular statements very carefully quackers are pacifist republicans are not pacifist richard nixon is both quacker and a, and a republican okay so quackers are pacifist republicans are not pacifist so richard nixon is both a quacker and a republican 
he is a quaker and a republican is nixon is a pacifist how can you conclude this he is both quaker and he is a republicans also so can he the pacifist see quaker is a pacifist but republican is not a pacifist so you can directly conclude that he is both pacifist and not pacifist at one time no this is one kind of the example of non monotonic reasoning quakers are pacifist but republicans are not pacifist so is nixon richard nixon is both quaker and as well as a republican so we can't say he is a pacifist or not in this particular statement it's an example of non monotonic reasoning so how can we add some statements to this to prove to withdraw the conclusion of this particular statement let us see quaker of x and negation abnormal of x is pacifist republican of x and negation abnormal 2 of x is negation pacifist so quaker of x is nixon republican of x is nixon so quaker of x and negation abnormal of x is a pacifist so quaker and negation abnormal one of x is pacifist republican of x and negation abnormal 2 of x is negation pacifist okay so quaker of x is nixon republican of x is nixon so nixon is a quaker and as well as nixon is a quaker and a republican so quaker is a pacifist so by using this we can say a quaker by being a quaker the nixon is a pacifist by being a republican he is not a pacifist we can draw the conclusion by this by using a quaker so he is a pacifist by using the republican he is not a pacifist so we can remove the uncertainty of this particular statement by using by using these two abnormal one negation abnormal one and negation abnormal two so we can show this particular example like this and now coming to the another kind of logic that is called as default logic so what is the default logic so actually it was developed by writer uh, default logic so it is one kind of the alternative logic for providing the default based reasoning okay here we are using some special class of inference rules were introduced here so these inference rules normally in the form like a is to b by c this can be read as if a is probable and it is consistent to assume b then we can conclude c listen carefully a is to b means what if a is provable see here a is a is to b by c okay so it is underlined and for last we can see it as uh, c see we can we can read this particular rule as if a is provable and consistent to assume b then conclude c a is probable and consistent to assume b then we can conclude c so if at all a is not consistent to assume b we cannot conclude this c okay here another example birds of x flies of x so bird is consistent to assume flies then we can conclude that flies of x bird typically flies then this default logic can be represented like this okay this is called as the default logic next we are talking another kind of the logic that is nothing but abduction so what is the meaning of abduction so standard logic normally perform the deductions by using the inference rules whatever we have added okay suppose we are having two different kinds of the axioms that is for all of x a of x for all x a of x implies b of x and a of c what we have to conclude here we have to conclude by this deduction by using b of c okay for all x measles of x to spots of x listen carefully a of x implies b of x and a of c we have to conclude p of c okay so for all x measles of x to spots of x to conclude that if somebody has spots will surely have measles okay so but it is in real incorrect but it may be the best guess we can make about what is going on okay measles of x to spots of x all the people who are suffering from measles obviously they may have spots but sometimes it is incorrect 
okay so deriving conclusions by general it is sure it is truth okay so the people who are suffering from measles definitely they will have the spots okay deriving the conclusions in this way this is another form of default reasoning so we are directly saying that the people who are having measles who are uh, those who are suffering from spots those who are having spots this is the default one this is the default reasoning so this kind of the default logic is called as abductive reasoning to accurately define abductive reasoning we may state that by given two well formed formulas a implies b and b for any expression a and b it is consistent to assume a do so that means a of x implies b of x and a of c we can directly conclude that b of c obviously okay so measles of x to implies spots of x next we are going to see the inheritance in default logic so how the inheritance plays the important role in the inherit in the default logic what is inheritance normally we are inheriting the properties from base object to the deriving object from down top to down to another object that is called as the inheritance so inheritance is the basis for inheriting attribute values from prototype description of a class already you know we are inheriting the attribute values from one class to another class to individual entities that belongs to one class inheritance says that an object inherits attributes values from all the classes which is member it is which it is a member unless doing so leads to contradiction in which case a value from more a more restricted class has a precedence over a value from the broader class so values from all the classes which it is a member unless doing so leads to contradiction in which case a value from a more restricted class has a precedence over a value from a broader class okay so whatever values are there from all the classes which is a member until and unless it never goes to the contradiction so we are having two different classes we are inheriting the values from all the classes and it is not leading to any kind of the contradiction or any kind of the thing so we can say it as a member so in which case the value from more restricted classes has a precedence over a value from broader classes that means we will take care of the of some restricted classes than the broader classes the restricted classes values we have more precedence than the more priority than the value from the broader classes okay so we have to take care of the two different classes that are restricted classes and broader classes so whenever a class is the restricted so the values have more precedence whatever values we are deriving from that restricted class has more precedence and the value from broader class has less precedence this from this we can understand okay so how it shows in the form of the inheritance okay so given baseball player of x2 x is 2 height of x comma 61 height of by height of x comma 61 we can conclude that the pitcher three finger brown height of three finger brown of that particular one is 6 inches 61 inches 6.1 inches but this particular statement is blocked by height of 3 we three finger brown is 5.11 inches so now we can adding another kind of this to remove this blockage to remove this particular ambiguity listen carefully again here given baseball player of x2 height of x comma 6 comma 1 by height of x comma 1 it is in the form of what a is to b by c listen carefully i will show it okay so it is a let us consider it is b and it is c so pitcher three finger brown having height three finger brown of 6 comma 1 but we are already having some statement height of three finger brown comma 5.11 so how can we conclude by adding some new inference rules to that we can already prove we can easily prove that that particular statement we can conclude so what else we have to add that is adult male of x is height x comma 510 by height x comma 510 adults male of x and negation baseball player and height of x comma x by height of 1 uh, minute height of 5 comma 10 okay so adult male of x and 
is to negation baseball player of x and height of x comma phi okay so a is to b into c by c that is adult male of x and not baseball player of x and height of x comma phi to phi ten so by height of phi comma ten finally we can conclude that height of x comma phi comma ten where he is adult mayor but he is not a baseball player okay so whoever is a baseball player he should be in the height of 6 6.1 but uh, he is not a baseball player so that's why we can conclude that the people who are not baseball players his height is x comma phi comma phi 10 okay so this is the inheritance in the default classic in the coming video we are talking about another kind of reasoning that is called as minimalist uh logic or minimalist uh, reasoning okay so minimalist reasoning that we will talk in the pre next coming class so if and if at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel intelligible tutorials thank you one and all thank you